Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and today I got a new line for us to check out. For those of you fellow fans out there of the Batman 66 line that McFarlane Toys puts out, well, we have a bit of a sister line, adjacent line sort of deal, right? Based on an unwatchable old cartoon, but it makes for some pretty cool action figures, and of course I'm talking about the new adventures of Batman. And today we have the first wave, of course, featuring Batman himself in his blues, grays, and yellows. Very much an old school card back. Totally dig that. A little bit of a, a Kenner influence to it and within the colors and whatnot. On the backside, like I said, it's going to be pure Batman 66 action. And of course, here is the barcode as well. Don't let the barcode title fool you. A lot of these are going to say variant, right? There is only one variant for this wave, but it's really meaning a variant of the Batman for the Batman 66 line, but if you see also, this is wave nine, technically, of the Batman 66, which, of course, we also need a, a Robin 66, quote-unquote, with the new adventures of Robin action figure. And if you don't know, within this old cartoon, Burt Ward and Adam West did provide the voices, but I can't recommend the cartoon, right? But the Joker, the Joker is in this line. He's a very Dick Sprang-looking Joker, and I totally dig that. Love the head portrait. Here's the barcode for when these start to hit store shelves. And, of course, we have the Riddler. And a lot of you said when I did the little news update when this line was revealed that the Riddler, well, he's in pink for various odd reasons, but probably just they didn't have the rights at the time. And, well, he was pink in the opening. So there you go. Then we have Commissioner Gordon and also Batmite because, yes, in this cartoon, Batmite was there. <laughs> I'm very stoked on this Commissioner Gordon. I think he looks great. And also avoid the Noid with Batmite, right? Very Domino's mascot in various ways, right? Here's the barcode for the old Commish. And of course, with any good Commissioner Gordon, you're definitely going to need a solid Barbara Gordon to fight some crime with Batman. There are two versions in this wave. The first one being the old blues, grays, and yellows. More of a late 70s, 80s sort of style Batgirl. And then you have a new Batman Adventures inspired, like the cartoon, Platinum Edition Batgirl. So she has the blacks, the yellows, and the blues. She looks pretty good, I have to say. You're going to get the same card back on the back and the front for each of them, right? And it's going to have the same barcode as well. And like I said, the black version is the platinum version. So happy hunting, everyone that wants one. But in the meantime, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the latest wave of the Batman 66 spinoff, The New Adventures of Batman Wave 1 by McFarlane Toys. Now, to kick things off, we'll check out the Riddler first. Yes, this is the Riddler, even though he is pink. He comes with a pink Riddler cane, which is ironic because the green Riddler, the Frank Gorshin Riddler, has never come with a green, just a regular old cane, unfortunately. Black and white got one, pink one's got one, and it's kind of a bummer. Some of the yellow gloved paint transferred to this staff already. It's fine for what it is. But that's a bummer about the paint. The Riddler is going to be the same body type. He's got a little bit different paint, of course. And then he has a new head portrait going on. And like many of you pointed out, the reason that he's pink is that it's kind of a... It, well, it's two things. It's either an animation guffaw or they didn't have the rights and they had to switch it last minute. And they pulled out the green and made him pink. In either case... It makes for an interesting action figure. Not one that I'm going to say you absolutely need unless you're either a really big fan of this old cartoon or you just like wackadoo variants in general, right? Now, the good thing about the cane, though, even though some of the paint flecked off, is that he holds it quite well. It's a decent enough Riddler. I do like the head portrait, but it's totally out there and not exactly one you're going to necessarily need for your old collection. Now, the Joker, on the other hand... Yeah, he looks pretty good, I have to say. Now, he does come with a newspaper, 
And this is fine. You can use it with other figures, of course. It does have clearly legible wording in there. It looks like a newspaper. And it's more of a thicker card stock. It's not a light, terrible piece of paper. It's, it's thick enough to where it should last you a good long while, right? So that is cool in that sense but I preferred more plasticky things, right? The Joker himself, though, has one fantastic head portrait going on. And like I said, it's a very much old school, original looking Joker, very extended jaw. He's got that devil horn hair going on in the back. It's a little Batman, the animated series. It's a little Dick Spring. It's a lot of that old fashioned Joker goodness. And I appreciate it for that. Now, much like the Riddler, he just has a new head portrait. It's going to be the same exact body we have seen with all the other prior released Batman 66 figures. The newspaper, because of the grip on the hand and then only having one hand, because the other one's a fist, you kind of have to finagle it. It's not the best accessory. It's an accessory you probably reserved best for a different figure, to be honest with you, but it's a great looking Joker. Now, to any good Joker, you're gonna need a Batman. And of course, we're talking about McFarlane's toys, we're gonna have plenty of Batmans. Now, this Batman comes with a blue Batarang. We have seen this Batarang before. It's got a little hole in there. You could slip a piece of string in there if you desire. You also get the Bat Radio, another piece we have seen before. They could have still painted that little speaker. That would have been nice. Batman himself. I love the colors on this Batman. I think that the blues, the yellows, the grays really stand out. Again, it's the same body type as 66. The capes are a little bit softer than previously issued. However, once again, they put a piece of tape on it and when you pull it off, which I recommend going very easy, but even so, kind of messed up the cape a little bit. So that is unfortunate. McFarlane Toys, leave the capes alone. The head portrait, is not the best, I will say. It's okay, he kinda looks like he has a double chin going on. Batman, he looks fine, he's painted good. Again, I like the cow, I like the look of it and everything, but in some sense, in some angles, the head sculpt is just a little off, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, down in the comments below. I know you will, anyways. But he holds both of the accessories nicely. He's got one open hand, one fisted hand. That'd be kind of cool later down the road to get some swap out hands for these old 66ers. Now, we have Robin, and Robin is one of my favorites of the wave. He comes with the exact same accessories as Batman, but this time around, he's kind of sporting that Beatles do, and I totally dig that, right? And I'm not gonna say I'm gonna be a stickler for exactly what is seen in the cartoon translated here, because in all honesty, I could care less about that cartoon. It's like the old He-Mans, it's unwatchable. <laughs> but I love the head portrait, and not only is it really stylized to that era, but it's very reminiscent of the Jiro Kuwata Bat Manga Robin, and that is what I love most about this figure. The colors are great, a lighter red, a lighter green, a little bit of yellow, totally dig it, and you get enough head rotation, of course. And much like Batman, one fisted hand, one open hand, and he can hold all the accessories perfectly if you so choose. But the articulation is going to be what it is. Now, we have Batgirl, Barbara Gordon, and she absolutely looks fantastic. The Batgirls in this line are amazing. Now, you do get two accessories, the first one being a light blue, we'll say female Batgirl Batarang, and then you get a pair of handcuffs. How kinky, Barbara Gordon, but they don't do much. They're just kind of there. Barbara Gordon Batgirl in her grays, yellows, and blues. This head portrait is awesome. I absolutely love what they did. I love the red of the hair. It goes well, so well with this costume, right? All those colors. I'm not a huge fan of what they did with the gloves, but ultimately I'm glad they went this route so you don't miscolor the pins or anything like that. They painted it all the way up to the tippy top so it blends a whole heck of a lot better. It's fine for what it is. Then you got the boots on the back. You got that softer-ish type taffeta cape, and it definitely has a nice sheen to it. Like the dudes of the wave, she's got an open hand and a fisted hand, and she holds all of the accessories appropriately. This, like I said, much like Robin, this is a fantastic looking old school Batgirl. Absolutely 
love the way that this came out. And then not only do we get that classic Batgirl, we also get a bit of the cartoon, the Batman Adventures, new Batman Adventures Batgirl color scheme. She comes with the same exact accessories, except these are all cast in black. So there's absolutely no difference other than the color. This Batgirl, I'm gonna tell you, as much as I like the previous one, the head portrait, the way the eyes are painted, everything about this is quite stunning. They did a fantastic job with the paint here. I absolutely love it. And again, I love this color scheme as well. It came out beautifully. I love the color of the cape and the cowl. You have the same exact gloves, the belt, the boots, and now the gray is replaced with black. They nailed it. Both of these Batgirls are awesome. Yes, it's unfortunate this one will be a platinum edition. It may be a little bit harder to come by, but if you can get a hold of it, I would say that she is definitely worth it. But honestly, you can't go wrong with either of these Batgirls. They are the standouts of the wave for various reasons, but it's a solid home run on Barbara Gordon. And if you wanted to see the two of these side by side, the head portraits really stand out, but the black and blue one really has great eyes to it. They really utilize that paint beautifully. Now, we have Commissioner Gordon and we have Batmite. <laughs> Batmite, yes, he was in the cartoon by which these hail from. He is a slug of a figure, but he's really well done. He's not going to move around. He's got some great color to him. He's a wackadoo looking character, but that is part of the fun. So if you have the Batman 66 cave, put him on the Babelbeel, whatever you want to do, he could stand there and be annoying as balls. But hey, it's pretty darn cool. And he just looks Great, like the Martian to Fred Flintstone, right? Like, hello, Dub Dub. <laughs> yeah, go watch that old cartoon. Tell me how you like Batmite, right? Then you have Commissioner Gordon, which from Robin to the Batgirls to Commissioner Gordon, I love that we're getting really just a complete set of characters here. And Commissioner Gordon looks fantastic. Also, he has a new upper body, which is a suited style. He's got the same leg and the feet, and he's got peg holes and whatnot. And a lot of people pointed out, and I completely missed it in the promo photos, they painted gloved hands. Now, you can't really tell on this side, just because he's got flesh-colored paint, right? But if you look on this side, you can definitely see the lines of the gloves. So yes, it's a bummer. Yes, I totally wish that they would have just sculpted some new hands. Also, to kind of get him a, a more tighter grip, right? Because he's not holding anything like this. I guess I'm going to try and heat it up and kind of pinch his hand a little bit and kind of form it a little bit better. But yes, other than that, I think it's a great look at Commissioner Gordon. A lot of people also said he looks like Alfred. No, that that's... I can see what people are talking about there, but no, this is old school Commissioner Gordon through and through. He's got the glasses, the white mustache. He just looks awesome. And yes, all the articulation across the board with all the figures are exactly the same. So yes, if you are in need of a great Commissioner Gordon, a very old school Commissioner Gordon, Look no further, but you're going to have to be okay with him not really being able to hold much. But I will say this, what a solid wave of characters. Years ago, if this would have came out in the 70s, 80s, whenever, right? You got two villains, you got the heroes, you got Commissioner Gordon, you got a Batmite. That is a solid first wave lineup. Even if we never get another wave for this particular show... Well done. I like the character choices here. And just to show you the alternate Platinum Edition backer all, all lined up, of course, she's going to be the same exact figure, but you get to see how the colors vary. Now, to show you Batman 66 and then these new adventures of Batmans, mostly in the colors, mainly in the head portraits, everything else is going to be the same. They're just using the Batman 66 bodies, much like Joker Man and Joker. See how they kind of just switch the head portrait. You get the idea. It's very minimal in the changes, but a little bit goes a long way in some of these figures, especially Robin here, which I have been waiting for that type of head portrait to go with my Japanese style Batman from the Tin Box. And speaking of Batman, we got Robot Batman. We have the darker blue Japanese style Batman. And now we have this new adventures of Batman style with the lighter colors. So there's a Batman for everyone. Whatever color scheme you want, they seem to have got you covered. Likewise with Riddler. Like again, 
There's been many Riddlers released in the Batman 66 line, but just to show you a bunch of pinkies, right? You gotta have a Mad Hatter Batman, you got Two-Face. But to have Commissioner Gordon with this lighter blue and gray Batman, Batgirl, Robin, puts a smile on my face. This is an era of DC Comics I love living in, and McFarlane Toys has really brought out the charm of those old comic books. And likewise, this blue and gray Batman with this Superman that they put for the Batman 66, I think that that looks pretty great as well. Man, this takes you back. I really enjoy this lineup, but I have to tell you, I've been waiting for this, and when I saw that Robin reveal, I was like, there you go, we've got it. So like I said, it's a very... Japanese centric style Batman 66 new adventures of Batman get yourself a Lord death man and his samurai sword put him atop the Batmobile really going after Batman and Robin I absolutely love the way that this looks you got the whited out eyes the color scheme you got elements of all the different Batman eras all put together that is stylish. And like I said, if you've never checked it out, please go and read the Bat Manga by Jiro Kuwata. You will not be disappointed. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new first wave of the new adventures of Batman. And thank you again to my friends over at McFarlane Toys for sending these out for the purposes of this video. Like I said, this is a great selection of characters. You got all the bases covered, heroes, villains, and a Commissioner Gordon to then arrest the villains when they get captured by your figures. So it's a solid wave through and through. Yes, there's a couple changes that would have been very beneficial, let's be honest, but in utilizing some Batman 66 figures, slapping some new head portraits on there, they've brought to life an old cartoon show that no one's gonna care about, but dang it all, this era of DC Comics is just stellar. So you've heard my thoughts, and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Batman 66. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most important, remember, look at that spread right there. Can't beat it. When you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.